In this video, I will show you the subjects section of yaclass.in. To see all the subjects published through yaclass, any user can log into the site and open subjects in the menu. Here you can access all the learning materials published at the moment. Many new subjects and topics are created every week, so this list is constantly getting updated. Let's take a look at one of the subjects as an example. Mathematics CBSE. The first thing you see is topic distribution by classes. If you click on a class on the top, you will be scrolled down to the specific class topics. After that, you will see that the class is divided into topics and subtopics. If you click on any topic, you will access the contents and learning material of this topic. When the topic is open, you can see it contains teacher manuals, theory, exercises, exercises for teacher use, tests, and tests for teacher use. Topics can also contain other materials like mock tests, presentations, methodological materials, etc. As you can see, some of the sections are only available for teachers and are not accessible from a student's account. Now, let's look at the same topic from the student's perspective. To do this, let's open the same topic from a student profile. First, I will open Subjects. As you can see, the first thing the student sees are the subject for their classes. In this case, Class 7, because this is the class they are registered in. They also have access to other classes if they scroll down to the page All Ya Class Subjects. For now, let's open Mathematics CBSE Class 7. At the bottom of the page, I can look through other classes if I want to, but I will just open the same topic, Square. The first thing you can see is that the student does not have access to the teacher-specific sections as teacher manuals and teacher tests and exercises, but the student has access to theory, exercises, and tests. Now let's open the theory section. Here the student can read brief theoretical summaries about squares. We can then easily navigate to the next theory by clicking on Next Theory. Here you can see the next theory and the next one. We can also go back to the previous theory or go back to the list of materials in the topic by clicking on the Exit to Topic button. As a student, I can see check marks for each theory material, which means that I have read it. This helps the students to better organize their studies and to know which materials they have already seen and covered. Now let's open an exercise. The student sees a question and can give their answer. Let's enter the wrong answer as an example and click on Send Answer. The student sees that exercise is not passed. Please try again. Let's launch the same exercise again. At the bottom of the page, there is a button, Run this exercise with other conditions. You click on it, and as you see, the task has changed. Now the side of the square is different, and the student must calculate the same task, but with different numbers. This is one of the unique features of Yaclass. Every task in our database has a minimum of 50 different variations, and some tasks even have thousands of variations. This means that, first of all, it will be very hard to cheat because every student will have his or her own version of the task, and they can't just write the answers from another student, even if they are sitting right beside each other in one computer room, as every device will have its own variation and answer to each task. And secondly, the many variations will allow your students to do the same exercises again and again until they understand perfectly how to do it, because each time they will get different numbers, pictures, texts, and other variables 
for the same task, and they simply can't memorize the answers because they will be different every time. Now let's answer the task correctly. The student sees all correct, well done, and receives two points or stars for successfully completing the task. The more points or stars that students receive, the higher their position will be in the class's top ranking. To get top points, the student must solve the tasks in their own class level, class 7 in this case. This way, the students can compete with each other by learning and solving exercises. This motivates the students to solve all the tasks and to improve their knowledge. Students can also see their top points on the profile menu. And also in the top section here, the student can follow their place in the top ranking to get the highest place. We also have class top rankings, where classes in the same school can compete for the best position, and school top rankings, where all the schools in India or in a specific region compete for the highest place. Now let's get back to the topic. Maybe you have already no noticed that there is a section called Solution Steps after every task. This is a premium site function avail available only to YaPlus subscribers. Solving tasks and accessing theoretical materials is free on YaClass, but YaPlus grants you access to correct answers and solution steps for all the tasks on YaClass. YaPlus can be bought individually or through an agreement between YaClass Incorporated and your school. You can read more about it by opening the YaPlus section. For example, I will give YaPlus to the student so that you can see what changes. Now that I have given Ya plus to my student and generated a new question, let's solve this question. But we are going to give a wrong answer and click on send answer. You can see that when I click on the wrong answer I gave, the system will show me what the correct answer was. This feature is only available for Ya plus users. As you can see below the task, the solution steps are now available and they explain exactly how to solve this exercise with the same variable explanation for each variation of the task. Students can read the explanations and then try to solve the task again with different numbers. This way, the students can learn from their mistakes and independently learn how to solve problems without the help of a teacher. This is why we recommend buying Yaplos for your students if you want them to independently learn and get ready for any test. This topic is full of tasks that will help the student to understand the topic, so let's see a few of the next tasks. Now let's exit to the topic to see what else there is. In the topic section, the student can see that this task has already been completed and that they got maximum points for it. After the student has seen the theory materials and solved tasks, Yaklas also offers the opportunity to solve practice tests. Let's open the test for this topic now. Tests are a collection of exercises that can be used to check how well the student understands the topic. The test contains the same tasks from the topic with some variations, so students won't see the same numbers as in the topic and some hidden tasks as well about the same topic. Students can start the test, solve the tasks, and get points for it. Let's launch the test and solve the first task. After answering the task, the next task will automatically open, but in tests I don't see answers and explanations until I have done the test. I can also browse through the exercises in this test by clicking on the numbers in the top here, and I can solve them in any order I want. For this example, I will just answer all the other tasks incorrectly.
When I have finished doing the test, the system will offer me to recheck exercises or complete the test. Now I will click on complete when I'm sure all of my answers have been entered and I can now see an overview of the test results. If I want to check the answers or the solution steps to any tasks, I can do that by clicking on the name of the task. Again, correct answers and the solution steps are available only to users with a Yaa Plus subscription. Let's go back to the topic, as this student still has a lot of exercises to do. But let's go back to the teacher's profile to see what else there is to see. As a teacher, you can use the same materials in your lessons if you have a projector or an interactive whiteboard. To do that, there is a presentation mode button. Let's turn it on now. And now you can see that everything got bigger with more contrast and that the menu is hidden for better presenting. Let's open the theory material. As you can see, the font is much bigger. Also, we can exit to the topic and open any task. When we are done with the presentation, just turn the presentation mode off and you will go back to the normal view. Now that we've looked at the presentation mode, let's get back to the topic because there are a few more things to show. Another helpful item for the teacher that can be found in every topic are teacher manuals. These contain methodical recommendations about the topic. It is the teacher's road map to the topic and it contains a list of all the materials with additional descriptions, exercise types, recommended time for tests, etc. To exit, simply click on exit to the topic. Another feature for teachers only are the exercises for teacher use and tests for teacher use. These materials are hidden from the students, so you can use them in special progress tests or homework assignments. For example, let's open the first homework test. It contains some of the tasks from the topic. You can start the test to solve it and see what's in it, or you can create a test work. Creating a test work means that you will send these exercises to your students. It will be sent to our test works section of the website where you can create your own digital homework and progress tests from our learning materials and send them to students. This test will automatically be graded by the system and you will see every student's progress, points, time spent, etc. We will talk more about creating and assigning test works in another video. One final thing. For every topic that students solve, you can see the statistics if you open My Classes. You can select your class and click on Activity by Subject. If your class is not here, you can add it with Select My Classes. More information about adding classes is available in another video. When you open Activity by Subject, you will see an overview of what your students have done, like points, progress in percentage for specific subjects, most popular topics, statistics for the last 30 days, and you can compare with other classes in the same school or all classes registered on YaClass. Other useful information is also available to track the progress of your students. If you click on the names of specific topics, you can get even more detailed information about every task solved. This info can also be accessed in the Students Results section of the website. So in short, this is all about subjects and how teachers and students can use the section. In future videos, we will get a more detailed look of how to send materials from the subjects in TestWorks and how the teacher can create their own subjects and educational programs in the My Subject section. Thank you for your attention.